Hey guys, this is Eric with Mediavine and this is our Go for Teal video series. Uh, this week we're going to keep on our same theme from last week and talk about settings. Uh, today we want to talk about video settings. We get this question a lot. Um, so when you go to upload a video here at Mediavine, we ask you a few questions about the video you're uploading. You have to give us a title, a description, a permalink, and now recently we added keywords. Um, so today I kind of want to go over what those different settings are for here at Mediavine and why we require you to do them. Uh, so title I think is probably one of the more obvious ones. Uh, that title that you're going to enter in should be a descriptive title about the video. Generally it will be very similar to the blog post that you're uh, including it in. So if you're doing a recipe it's probably just going to be the name of the recipe. If you're uh, doing the top places to, to visit um, that's going to be the name of your title. So it's really going to be kind of the more obvious one. The title is going to be used now in the dashboard when you go to look for reporting. It'll be using things like the video adhesion at the bottom. But also what's interesting is we're going to pass that title to advertisers. Um, so generally you want that title to have uh, some keywords. And as a bonus, um, the Mediavine video player outputs JSONLD or schema.org markup so that we are going to indicate to Google, hey, you should include this video in uh, a rich snippet so that they can include it in things like the video search results. And that title is one of the requirements that they set there. So setting a good title will help with SEO, your RPM, and user experience due to uh, things like the video adhesion. So title, very important. The description um, is a little less important for things like your ad performance. Um, the description should be a description about, again, the video, use your keywords in it. Um, but we're mostly gonna use that one for is SEO. Again, we use that in the JSON LD markup because it's required by Google. Um, so make sure you have a good description. Think of it similar to how you do a meta description on your website. But as of this time, we don't send that description to advertisers. So it's literally just being used for, again, SEO. So that's up to you. So keywords, which is an interesting one because we recently added that. Um, so those should be comma separated uh, keywords describing your video. And that one is actually going to again hit on the kind of the trifecta. So it's going to help with your RPM because we're going to send those keywords to advertisers. So make sure you have good brand friendly ones, um, nothing that's like uh, provocative or adult uh, in nature because advertisers will not bid on those. Uh, we're also going to send those to uh, Google via schema.org. So again, it will help with ranking. Uh, and as far as user experience goes, we're not currently using it as of this time. We have a lot of plans for allowing you to set keywords and then we can later figure out the best videos to match up uh, with your content based on the keywords. So make sure you're filling it out for future use for a great user experience. And for right now, increase revenue and better SEO. Uh, if you don't have keywords in some of your original videos, that's okay. Like all advice we give here at Mediavine, focus on your top videos. Uh, it's not worth your time to maybe go back and do all your old videos. Not that big of a deal. And then finally, saving the best for last, the permalink. Super important. The permalink uh, is the link to the post that you were going to originally run the video in. Um, so that's the full URL. So HTTP colon, or hopefully HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www let's say the hollywoodgossip.com slash the URL where you're running it. So don't leave just the homepage, the actual URL of the post. Uh, the reason why I'm being so explicit on this is because we found a lot of people were just leaving the homepage. This is extremely important. So what do we use the permalink for? So you can probably guess it's for the trifecta again. So RPM wise, uh, the permalink is probably the most important thing you can do. So Google Ad Exchange, the largest buyer of the inventory here at Mediavine and really on the entire internet, um, is going to go and parse that page to learn what your video is about. So remember, Google is not the best at really understanding video, they're great at understanding text. So the permalink is gonna give you an entire page, your post, to tell Google uh, what this content's about, and advertisers will buy based upon that. So make sure your permalink is pointed out to a post. And as far as SEO goes, that permalink is what we send as a unique identifier uh, to Google in your schema.org, uh, since that's a required parameter. So you want to make sure that that is the most relevant post to that video. Can't say it enough. Make sure you are setting the correct permalink. Uh, there are going to be other settings on that page where you go to upload your video. Um, you can do things like override the thumbnail. You can change your up next uh, playlist settings for that video. But today I really want to focus on the big four that contribute most uh, to your SEO, uh, to your revenue, and of course to your user experience. So as long as you're filling out those four, you're in pretty good shape. Uh, if you have any questions, because obviously we covered a lot here, 
Uh, you can email publishers at mediavine.com or ask below in the comments. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next week.